Welcome. This is episode 46, and I'm here with Young Weston. I feel like we have to whisper. Okay, let me whisper. It's like a, like like an intimate yeah, setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to intimate. like talk. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Welcome finally to the show. Finally, thank you for having me. So, mm. when we decided to do this, you were like, "I need something different." I needed something different for sure. And for that sure. was because like you think you're extra special. You're like, um, let's get the crew together. Well, when you remember, I originally saw you. I was just like, "Bib, look, I, I'll be down," but I don't, I don't, I want it to be different. I want it to be special. And then, I mean, you just so happen to have like the wine in common, everything. I was like, I have candles. And, <laughs> I no, real talk, real talk. And you were like, "Look, wine and dine, my crib, flowers, candles, wine. You bring the charcuterie board. Let's go crazy." I said, "Bet, we're we gonna run it up." And Shout we are, out to all this. Like, we got like. Food, yeah, we, we, we got that. We got everything, everything that you need for a boy, you know. And uh, I think it's so funny because this is like all your styles. So if you were like make me like describe you like in five words, like it'd be like everything we're surrounded by. For sure, like, everything. Have you always been like that, like your music and that whole style? Um, like I'm more a, like laid back, bougie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like 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 people like joke with me a lot. Like even on IG, like I'll do like a little funny shit. I'll be like speaking to you, like bro. Like, Anytime my boys have dates, they'll call me like, yo, P, man, like, I got this girl. I'm trying to take her so much food. I go, all right, fam, look. You look, know all the good food spots. I do. I, I, would, I would consider myself, like, you like know, like. Like the sexy food spots. Yeah, for sure. Like the yeah. ones where the lighting is nice and For dim, sure. I, and... I, feel, I feel like for me, man, just not only, like, just because of age, but, like, just overall in general, man. Like, I, I like to enjoy good food, but, like, with dark, intimate, like, vibes, you feel me? And I enjoy good cocktails, good wine, and, and they got to be, like, ducked off. Like, I like speakeasies. So, if he asked me about, like, one spot to go to, what should I tell him? Um, I'm going to say Flint. You got to go to Flint, over to Billmore. Is it seafood? It's, it's everything. It's I'm not, I'm, I'm going to say, like, to, in my opinion, it's better than Thoka. It's better than Maple and Ash. I love Ocean Prime, so if you want if you want to get fancy with mm-hmm. him, you go to Ocean Prime in North Scottsdale. But in the city, for sure, you got to do Flint. Um, Downstairs, they, the cocktails over there are stupid. They got, like, a Henny cocktail. Tastes perfect. I, I had love two. when they get crazy and they put like the little. And they do all the guys there because they got like it's like like old school New York because they're like in like vests and shit and it's like a U shaped like bar area with like the chandeliers and shit Ooh. and uh, they get busy. The cocktails are like they're fire and then they got like a little rooftop like right up top. You take a little stairway around the corner and it, like overlooks the whole. Uh, it's, like, the same it's fire. It's, it's definitely a vibe. Dark. Spooky. Dark. Why are we always like want to go? Dark and spooky. Dark? I don't know. We didn't hear. It's that like mysterious. Like, like, oh, he might be able to protect me. Exactly. Like, danger. You never know. You never know. <laughs> it, although it's like the safest area in the city, but yeah, it still got those vibes. No, you're right. For sure. So now that we kind of like bonded over food, like, are we cool now? Because I know you like called me out for unfollowing you. It was bad. I, yeah, this was a long time ago. I, I don't remember. Like, I don't remember though. Like, I, hey, look, maybe I wasn't dropping like hot enough music, and in the time when I dropped that album, maybe she, you said something. Nah, but you had followed me back, and then you were like, I was like, dang. Like, I didn't follow him. Yeah, she had to. I, I don't follow <laughs> nobody. So I'm, in my head, I'm like, man. And you were like, oh, look, like you got some music. I go, please, can you like listen to my? And it was like a project. Like when you were still following me, you're like, oh yeah, this is dope. And you like were playing it when you were in LA. You're like, P, like, I like this shit. I'm like, man, thank you, thank you. And then I dropped some other shit, and now here we are. Wow. We made amends, so toast to that. Cheers. Uh, you follow me back, so I'm doing something right. You know what I'm saying? I just don't remember, but it was meant to be. It is what it is. We're here now. We're here now enjoying some uh, a good candlelight and, and some wine right now, so we cool. It works. Well, I'm glad you don't hate me anymore. Mm. So I want to talk a little bit about your project that just came out. Yeah. What inspired that? Um, honestly, Are you sad 24-7? Nah, no, no, no. I don't know why people always, they, they tell me that. I think I'm I can my, tell you why. <laughs> on my, well, I'm my old shit for, like, so dig this. I think anytime, like, I drop projects, right, it's it's really based on situations, whatever is happening in How your life. How many situations are you in? I mean, not too many, you know? I, I feel like in, in, in my, in the way how I was living, um... You know, you, you go from certain things, especially as you get older, right? You think certain things are meant for you, then they not. And then you step away, you really figure it out, you go, and the best way for me that I explain shit is just, I like to write about it. So when I'm dropping projects- So are these and then, old, like, situations? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. For sure old, but like, it, 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 the way how I do my music, man, I think I, I take all situations and I put them in one. So if I'm singing about a girl, like, it's like, all situations of, of female stuff all in one you know what i mean i'm older into this one you feel me so like 
when I had the Eastern Promises or even Dangerous Love One and Dangerous Love Two with with uh, the real crew, like that's my bro. Um, I don't know if he did music. No, nobody did, right? He actually just hit me randomly and was like, "Yo, P, I, I want you to like." It's not bad. He's not. He's like, tough. Like the my my bro really got nice. Like in like less than one year, like. He really like learned how to like. But I think he doesn't go out there and be like, I'm a. Artist. Never, never. I mean, never. people know him as a promoter. You yeah, yeah. Somebody. So for him to tap in, like, and he always did music, but make beats. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people know he made beats. So at that time, we're both in the melodic shit, and but just as far as like listening to music, mm-hmm. and he goes, "P, I got this." I said, "Man, this shit's hot. Well, I want to drop." It. I said, "Drop it, bro." He shot out the gate. He did another joint with Maj Alexis at now, but formerly yeah. known as Maj back then. And then he goes, P, I really want to do a project with you. I said, fam, let's run it. We went to LA, three days, we dropped DL1, like quick, knocked it out fast, came back a year later, we did DL2, super sad boy vibes, like, you know what I mean? Like, if we wasn't talking about getting money and like pushing foreigns and like, you know, doing fly shit in, in like different cities, you know, it was mostly just about like, you know, women and whatever fucked up situations. So what's your like guilty pleasure music? Like you can't be like in this mood twenty four seven. Nah, that's not I, healthy. I feel uh. <laughs> it can't be healthy. Gu- guilty pleasure music, low key. I, I listen to a lot of jazz. Like I listen to like lo-fi, like smooth jazz, like. I like lo-fi. Jazz, like any any type of jazz though. You know what I mean? Like if I drive, morning shit, late night. When I clean the house, I gotta listen to jazz music. I don't listen to nothing else besides jazz music. Oh. For sure. But at the club, you're down for some city girls. Uh, you know, if the, if it, if I got some henny in me or any type of drink, we, we play like, whatever. We going crazy. Damn. Okay. But um. Okay. So the the EP though wasn't like expired by like super like dark times. Um. This one right here, man. It's like uh. I feel like when I dropped Confessional, it wasn't really. Um. It's not like even really like a sad a sad joint because if you listen, you're to, like I made everything up. Yeah, no, no, we'll, 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 we'll dig this sonically. If you listen to it from the beginning to end, um, it's like I'm like kind of hyping up, shorty. Is it like that on saying? purpose? It is like it's that on purpose. purpose. I like yeah. when they do that. Yeah, it, 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 I feel like I did it on purpose, and it was even like the songs. Like if I'm like bragging about it, and then like semi like you know lovey. The way how I do it is like I, I ain't trying to be too toxic, but like you ain't good for me, I'm not good for you. But I like how you said toxic, cause that's in my nose. Oh man, <laughs> shit. But now let's say we'll No, 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 but but, but like in a, in a smooth way, you know, I, I, it, it came off like on some smooth players. So like the way how I how I wrote it and how I thought it, and like even how I mapped it out to the last song, Eternal, where I'm rapping, and I'm just talking about like everything that's led up to this point, especially like over the last two years. You feel me? Like last three years, low key. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, it's from from one to four. It's just like it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, I like to listen to it when it's raining. For sure. <laughs> at you night. gotta listen to it when I'm driving. Yeah, like, you gotta listen night. to it. Yeah. Um, night. did you write everything on, on there? I write it all my own music. I didn't know you were a songwriter. Yeah, yeah. Originally, like that's what I just wanted, like you know. That's to, what you just wanna do. Eventually, you know, if that happens, just that way. I mean, there's a lot of politics and just trying to like put my face out there and. Then, Buying fits, doing music videos, promo, you know, always showing up. Yeah. If I could just write music, man, that would be perfect. Damn. You know? Yeah. But yeah, I write all my own stuff. Just, man. You're like, this is all extra. It, it's too much. It's too much, really. And really, it's, it's you in a relationship, and then, you know, all, it, all of it's too, it gets too crazy. Like, I want to just fall back and just stay behind the scenes and just write music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cut a check, and I could just be happy. Eventually, you know, we'll see. I feel you. Um, who was all involved in this project? Um, like, so, who were the engineers and producers? Um, sh- sh- shout out to my boy Tone. Um, my boy, my boy Tone. Definition of tones you can find him on IG. Um, to me, in my opinion, humble opinion, he's the best engineer in the city. You know what I mean? Like, I, I found him. You know, by I was about to say I probably don't know him, but I'm probably following him. <laughs> and seeing that, and then you got a bad habit of that. So no, no, no. Maybe, maybe you could. No, I'm not going okay. to it. Okay, listen to what I do. Uh, like, let's say you post something, or anybody that I'm a fan of posts something, they tag like their videographer, sure. their producer, engine. I'll go follow. You them. just follow them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, well, if you haven't, now you know now. Um, definition of tones. He does he, all your stuff. He does majority of my stuff. Yeah, but on, but on this project, he had did uh, he did Eternal, which is the outro. And then he also did uh, he also did um, Rose Pleasures, and then uh, the first two tracks are are, are uh, with my boy Enzo. Shout out to Enzo. I call him. Yeah, Enzo stuff because he he messes with like a lot of the Desert Water dudes and shit. You know, shout out to all my guys over there. Yeah, so 
um, that uh, Jay Wage put me on with him. I just liked how, how he worked, and I, I really was feeling the studio. So I tapped in with him, and uh, I knocked out two and two with, with each of them. So. Okay. That was them. And then, um, you didn't have any features on there, did you? Nah, it was just me. Just me by myself. Yeah, okay. just me. Solo. So how did you pick your previous features? You were like, you guys are not good enough for this project. No, the, the way how I do it, I had a plan. I had a plan last year because I really don't work with a lot of artists. You feel me? Like, I do. I'm not saying I don't. I, I fuck with a lot of people in the city. And a been, lot of them fuck with you, too. Like, I, maybe, I, like, my last, like, five, six interviews, they always say your name. Man, that's dope. That's dope. Um, so that's super cool. That's, that's just that's just beautiful. Like that's all I really want to do it for, man. Cause you, ultimately, you know, you want your peers respect. You mm -hmm. know, especially because the end of the day, this is a sport. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be the best. Everybody want to kill everybody on the record. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like um, I've I've always been fortunate. You know what I mean? To get respect from from everyone. I've just been doing it for so long. And I always show mad love. There's never been a time where, you know, you send me something I don't listen to. I listen to everybody's shit. You feel me? Everybody's music. I tell. A lot. I'm talking. Right, so from, everybody. So I'm, ta I'm talking from the bottom to like to the top. You know what I'm saying? So like even on the feature shit though, I had a plan last year, and it was after DL2. I said, look, I'm not gonna drop an album in 2020. Every month, I want to work with two artists in the city and a producer from the city for 12 for 12 months. You know, for one every, every month, it's gonna be you know okay. it's gonna be a track. COVID really fucked me up. So I got eight knocked out. So I was missing four out of the, out of last year, but I got eight knocked out. So. And all the guys that I fuck with, like, you know, they're all, they're all out there right now. All the features I got with right now. So who's next? You have, like, your list of everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, um, I'm going to be doing this next one with my boy Dana and Ebat. Um, I've always fucked with Bat. Oh, Ebat for a minute. He's been around for a minute, huh? For a minute, for a minute. I remember uh, we, him. Yeah, we, 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 we came up together and shit, and, and uh, that's my guy, man. Um, and then my boy Dana, who's from Indiana. He's not from the city, but he reps the city from Indiana. He's a spitter. Like, if you like... Uh, if you like, uh, like, I'm not even gonna say conscious rap. If you just like good rap and bars and like storytelling, he's tough. So it's a, it's different. I like to purposely put like two people together that you would never even think would would rock, and then we just get busy on the song. So there's an art in that because how okay. do you know they're gonna get get along and work good together? Exactly. But you gotta, you so gotta, you know, you're like, hey, I know you and you it, like y'all need to meet. There has to be that way in our city, and you know, really don't act on it. And for me, that's. It's, it's really, it's the opposite. Like, if I say I'm gonna do it, like, nah, bro, we gonna really tap in, I'm gonna set up everything. All you gotta do is slide. I'm paying for the drinks, I got the studio session, just oh, no. pull up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, do you um, do you see yourself doing that a lot? Or do you see the city doing that a lot, too? Um, Right now, for sure. For sure, right now, they starting to do it, and it's a, it's a good look, you know? We need that, it's a real good look. We, that's something we've been missing, you know? And uh, I think for people to, not only get out their own comfort zone, but it's it's a pride issue too. You know, you don't really wanna you don't wanna hit up another dude and be like, yo man, your shit is dope. Especially ain't never showed me love. It, but there ain't that's just pride. I do that. You know what I'm saying? I'll put my pride aside if bro has never shown me no love and he don't really know me. I'll tap in and be like, fam, I'm really, I'm I'm knocking your whole tape right now, bro. This shit crazy. Man, I appreciate it, bro. Whoop de whoop back and forth. And uh, there you go. No. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be that it gotta be that way. Who are you a fan of right now that you don't personally know? Like in Ooh, the city. That's a good one. Um, uh, right now in the city that I don't personally know. That's not like your friend. That's um, not at the margarita with you. That's not going to the margarita with me. That, yeah. that you have not had a drink with. There we um, go. <laughs> that's um, all right. Sit down to like you, five know, you, know, you know who I haven't met, but I, but I fuck with him, and I and I fuck with him tough. Is uh, Del I Prime? I really I really fuck with him. He's he, so cool. He, he, he rocks with me. We we you know we'll do a little DM here and there and, and show each other love. I'll listen to his shit. He'll listen to my shit. But I never met bro, and uh, but. I, I like him. He's different, man. And his music, his music's tough. I like what he stands for, and I, and I, and I fuck with it. He's so cool. Yeah, he he's, said, I know he popped up on your shit, too. Yeah, so. I know. I've known him for, like, yeah. uh, like five I, years. I've, I've known of him, you know what I mean? But, like, more so now, like, within this last, like, six months, he's been, like, on my radar. Like, I'm like, damn, man, everybody typed in with him. Yeah, go and I finally, crazy. Yeah, and I finally, like, started listening yeah. to his shit. Yeah, and I finally started listening to his shit. His merch was crazy, videos, songs. You need to go to one of his shows. Yeah, I bet it's, t I bet it's turn. Like, I don't even doubt it. That's yeah. how I met him, is, like, yeah. by going, because I used to go to, like, a bunch of shows, yeah. like, back when they would do, like, a downtown Phoenix. Oh, yeah, And then sure. that's where I would meet, like, everyone. Yeah, for sure. So, I yeah. bet. He looks like his energy's, like, just crazy, like, man, I'm about to just blow the roof off everybody. Did you ever go to shows before COVID? Hell yeah, that was, like, especially that local shit, for sure. Like, which ones were your favorite? Um, 
I want to say I remember I remember watching like the Desert Water before they were like the Desert Water records. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, I fuck with J Wave's tough. Um, Don P's my guy. Like those are all my guys and stuff. Like uh, Will Clay. Like you know they those are solid dudes. I know saw know? him perform once. Yeah, they 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 show me. I was that, like, who is that? We probably knew who that was. Yeah, was like yeah, they're tough, man. And and even Mitch, like I had Mitch in a session moons ago, like when he was just producing. And uh, him and Jay Wage came to like one of my sessions, and this was before Mitch even got the deal with YG. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they're they're tough, man. Uh, that was crazy. that was probably the Kodak show I went to. Like even the drinks, like they had like a little cash app, and it was like a big ass like tubs of like of like liquor, all like a mixed like jungle juice type shit. The fuck? They were like fifteen dollars, and it's like you know you can keep that coming back. That sounds like a headache. And, yeah, but we was running this up. And I'm like, yo, man, they got they got the ambiance right in here. Like you fade it, and you get to watch like wavy music. Like it was perfect. Yeah. I was fucking with it. Yeah, that was probably one of my favorite like local shows like I've been to. I do want to talk a little bit like about your uh, your team. Like, who's all on your uh, team? Like, are you do you have like a solid um, like a manager or like who runs all your stuff? Uh, so currently right now, like uh, as far as like just my, my whole team. So like the Western Radio shit, like that for me right now it's like artist development. Originally like a, a playlist. But I want to start like doing events with it, and then start like managing like artists. Like that—that's the ultimate goal. Like when I hang it up, like that's like the goal. You feel me? But as as far as like team right now, um, Cali Fresh. And you want to be behind the scenes? I do. You know, like, I, 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 no, but 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 I but I do. I feel like if I, you know, like like you, you would consider yourself like man, yo, I got a good ear for like music. You feel me? Like so for me, I'm like. I consider myself like I got a decent ear. I feel like I can scout some You're talent. You're a consumer. You know what you like. Yeah, for sure. And I think like right now the city's like really bringing out some good talent. So you know why not go get them? But I'm just trying to help out anybody coming up that didn't really have a, that don't got no cosigns because that's I'm in the same situation just as them. You know what I'm saying? Where it ain't no big artists or even big radio, no mm-hmm. big like no nothing. Like everything is is a uh, is is from the dirt, and you got to just come up like that. So how you're saying how you're like trying to help other people? Do you want like people that are kind of like similar styles as you? Nah, it, it don't even gotta be that way. I, I love rap. I love hip hop. I mean, I, I love R and B. It could be anything. Dance hall. It don't matter if if. There's if not I, a huge like R and B scene. There, there, That'd be a good idea. There, there, there ain't. And, and, and if there is, I don't know where they're at. Yeah, no. I, I, I where? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, where can I'm, I find y'all? I'm decently tapped in like with a with a couple of R and B dudes out here, man, and, and and they're wavy. Like everybody has like their own little like their own style, like especially like just singing out here. And uh, you know, I I'm not opposed to none of it. I'm, I'm supporting all of it. It's, it don't even gotta be dark. It don't gotta be toxic. Like as long as you <laughs> doing, as long as you doing what you doing, I'm, I'm supporting it. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. All right, so are you ready to go over these toxic lyrics? Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna take. Let me take one good drink. Let's go. Um. All right. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. And then you just have to let me know, like, why is it not toxic? Or is it toxic? Man, I'm getting hot right now. Oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so, I'm quoting you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, say what you want, love girl. I wish I could. You can. Um, you know you can. What do you mean you wish you could? It's just, it's just, uh... I feel like it's court. Yeah, I, know, <laughs> I, know, man, I gotta yeah. give my explanations. <laughs> um, it's... To, to me, it's simple. Like, uh, why can't you? <laughs> I feel, I feel like, I feel like most, I feel like most men in the situation, sober or not, we want the woman to tell us everything and tell it, tell me exactly how you feel. And you know, I, I might do a little bit, but right now, I, I really can't. I want to hear everything how you feeling, but I ain't finna, I ain't finna give it back. It's, it's <laughs> damn, none of that. Wow, wow. Well, we can't even edit this, huh? We are yeah. gonna just keep it. Fuck it. I mean, that's my explanation. I don't have I don't have no other reason. Alright, well they get worse. Oh shit. <laughs> Do you want some cheese? Oh man. I got everybody in the background. Everybody just with the hands out like damn people you in trouble. Like, can we get some more wine? Can we yeah. get some more? Can we get some more wine? Can we get some more, please? Man. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the refill too. Let me just kill all this right now. <laughs> this about to have crazy. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. We about to kill the whole bottle within the next five minutes. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, we'll see. Oh, man. I hope you only got, like, two more lines left. Appreciate you, man. All right. <laughs> Next line. Uh-huh. Just for tonight, can't take it much further. So that sounds like commitment issues. Yeah. It, I mean, it could be. <laughs> um, I feel like, uh, you know, it's it's one of those two where... Rascal's having a bar right now. I just hear him laughing. <laughs> 
Shout out to Rascal. My, my man Rascal, right? Hey, man. He, we got another bottle back there, right? Um, you know that that one is self-explanatory. I don't, that one really ain't, ain't got to be so much. So you're one night stands? No, not not even. I feel like you know, just for tonight, like I'll be everything that you want. But tomorrow morning, you know, I'm going back to just you know, you go back to life, I go back to life. So but, tonight, I will take you to the rooftop. The whole, we'll, we'll go e- have everything, everything, oh. whatever. And then you tomorrow want. you're gonna leave her on that's bed. That's it. That's it. Straight up. Or you're just a blocker. Might be both. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. She might, she, it, or she, she might be there for the long run. I mean, you know, that's that's just the beauty of just whatever. However, people want to take it, they can take it. You know. Alright. Yeah. I hope you only got one more left. I'm praying you only got one left. <laughs> Man. It's getting hot in here. All right. This is from one of my, I didn't know I liked this song until, like, because I shuffled a bunch of your stuff. Oh. And this is Peru's on this one. Mm-hmm. So, it's three in the morning. The oh. studio is lonely. I got all this jewelry. Misery loves company. Yeah, facts. Man, I, I'm going to just tell you in a, in a nutshell the whole story. This is when we did DL1 while I was telling you we went to L.A. We recorded the whole project in, in three nights, two nights in three days. And you were like, phone. I'm lonely. My man, my man, we, we were dead ass in the studio and uh, he said, P, man, like, I, 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 I need, I need, I need crazy P to come out. I said, look, bro, we're off the drink, you know, no females in the cut. And it's literally just what the words are. Like, I'm, I'm in the studio. I'm lonely. We, we had all the, we had, we had all the jewels and no on. Girls. We had all the, we had all the jewels on and I was just like, damn, man, and you really realize, you know, misery loves company and it's just, you you in the cut, you you could feel like you're the greatest man in the world, and ain't got no one in there with you, and you just making music. So yeah. I just wrote, and that's just so happened to be the hook to 3M Flex. Shout out to my boy Bass Fingers that produced it, and Bass House, all the guys over there, man. Much love. See, that wasn't so bad. I mean, you didn't think- that one wasn't crazy. That's why I'll take that one. If you have two more of those, I'll gladly answer. That. You feel <laughs> that me? Was, that was my last one. All right, perfect. Woo. Every. <laughs> Woo. Every- Man, I'm gonna just keep drinking this wine. Though. He's like, who agreed to this? <laughs> He's like, next time I need notes ahead. No, I mean, no, good fix though. Good fix on the lyrics for sure. Those are some of my favorite ones. For sure. So, um, what do you have coming next? What do we have to look forward to? Um, I'm gonna, more of this, more of this stuff. Po- probably. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm come clean with you. Keep it a stack. I got a, I got an album, my first album ever. Ooh. My first album ever, ever. I've been, I'm ever doing. It's gonna drop on my birthday on 11 11 of this year. 11 uh, 11. Mm-hmm. So you're a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio for Ooh. sure. Um, I Y'all think... almost have the same birthday. He's on the 15th. 18. Oh, that's my bad. bad. <laughs> I feel like that's why I rock with you right out the gate, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, made a, that makes a lot of sense. You, you know should know do that for the early interviews. Be like, what's your sign? Yeah, yeah you gotta ask that like, right out the gate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like. Um, uh, I feel like just for for me it was it, it's it's only right like I, I have a I have a crazy fascination with like just like the moon like anything the stars anything in the universe so like when you see like the Western Radio logo it's like it's it's just the moon so for me like when I'm when I'm dropping this album it's gonna it's gonna be called Not a Saint um, I've had this like idea in my head for the last like two years you Ooh. feel me so it's gonna be five joints like rap five joints uh, R and B like melodic shit um, you know so hopefully hopefully it goes crazy. Okay. That's gonna be on 11 11. 11 11 for sure. of this year. Of this year, yeah. So you have a, a while. I, I have a while before then, yeah, for sure. Are you gonna have videos done? Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna keep it low key. Y'all the first ones to hear right now, but I'm, I'm in the process right now of shooting Downtown Freestyle from Confessional. Yeah. Okay. First it was Room of Gloom, and now it's Downtown Freestyle. Also getting shot by my boy Cali Fresco. Ooh. Yeah. That it's was, only right. He just that, it's it. only right. Uh, and we four for four, so we're gonna go for five for five on them and see how they feel. I'm excited. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate it. And uh, where can we find your stuff? Where can people tune in? Um, yeah, I'm at the Young Weston on Twitter, Instagram, and don't shit. unfollow him because he'll remember. Man, I remember everything, man. Y'all gotta, <laughs> you be, y'all better come correct, man. Um, uh, same same thing on Facebook, Young Weston, YouTube, Young Weston, subscribe, the whole thing. Um, and just show love. You you can find my music on all platforms, Young Weston at everything. Make sure y'all go listen right now, Confessional EP. Just came out on uh, Valentine's Day. And watch the video. The video. And watch the video. Room of Gloom, man. Shop out me and Fresh. But if y'all, if y'all like that, uh, that wavy shit. Not everybody can do snow the right way. Nobody did snow in the city yet. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you know we trying to do it right. He's over here, like, <laughs> like it looked good. It was like the perfect song, like. Yeah, it, it, like, it was. 
it, I mean, was it snowing? It was snowing. That okay. ain't that ain't the facts. Yeah, we, we caught the last day in Flagstaff of it snowing. Saw so performing, trying to look cool for everybody, but I was dying. It was Damn. the we caught it was like thirty degrees, right? Twenty eight degrees. Yeah, they, yeah. Here, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I, I just know it was thirty degrees and snowing, and we had no no gloves on. And I, I heard that's like a major no no. You're not supposed to do that. It was hella windy. Well, it looks so good. I love that. Yeah, for sure. I was so excited, and the little teaser was like snow on point. Shout out my boy Kelly Fresh. So I'm like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna yeah, happen? no, he, he he does everything right. You know, my man don't fail. He really takes the uh, his craft serious and. You know, so so. Yeah, it sounds like you have a really good team, and I'm excited for what's next. For sure, appreciate it. All right, any final shout outs before we close it out? Um, man, I'ma just shout out to the whole city, man. Shout out to everybody been dropping projects and albums. Keep that shit going, man. Uh, put the keep putting the fucking, you know, gas on the pedal, pedal on the gas. And what did I say? Well, I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> oh shit. Um. <laughs> Man, just shout out to anybody from the city doing their thing, man. Straight up, you know what I mean? Valley shit, all that, man. Shout out to Viv. Shout out to Well Connected AZ, man. It's Weston. Um, make sure y'all tap in and, you know, just Thank you. Thank keep, you keep me on y'all radar, man. You all right, let's finish the bottle. We're going to finish the bottle, man. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>